Okay, this is just a quick little read. I want to use my dragon card. So I'm just going to ask, how does the person Sagittarius is dealing with feel about them? How does the person Sagittarius is currently dealing with feel about them? What's their true feelings towards them currently? Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords, ooh, so they want to quit lying? <laughs> Do they want to quit fucking lying already? Is that what that means? Ace of Swords, Seven of Swords, they want to quit being deceptive or either that, Sagittarius, you're about to find out some truth about your person. The Tower, oh my God. So you could be about to figure out somebody's been lying to you. You're about to get clarity on some type of deception. And this is going to cause a tower. Two of Cups. This could definitely have to do with a soulmate. Could even have to do with a friendship. This is somebody you're connecting with here. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This person's really in their head about this, or you're really going to be in your head about this when you figure it out. The Lovers. This is definitely... You definitely got somebody here who's connecting with you that you're, you're going to have a tower moment with when you find something out. Um, this is really going to put you in your head day and night. There's somebody here you're connecting with that's doing a lot of overthinking. Stressing out. They could have lied to you and hasn't and they haven't told you, but you're gonna find out. And this could really freak them out. Yeah, the devil. So you guys got some toxic ass shit going on here, Sagittarius. This person could be lying to you. Like you're dealing with somebody who's deceiving you here. Ooh, it's about a third party. You're connecting with somebody here who's dealing with a third party that they feel is deceptive or you are. You're, there's there's definitely some deception going on here in this situation. And when you find this out, it's really going to push you in your head. I also feel like whoever's lying to you is, you know, in their head too. Page of Cups. They're going to try to apologize for whatever stupid shit they did. So you got somebody here who could have lied to you, deceived you, and now they want to try to come in, work on things with you, uh, keep you tied to them. Apologize. Ace of Cups. Yeah, and try to offer you new love again. I also feel like a lot of you guys are going to find out that um, somebody has been lying and deceiving you, and they're going to move towards a new love too. Unfortunately, five of pentacles. Somebody's getting left out in the cold here, unfortunately. I feel like when you find out about this shit, you're going to leave this person out in the cold and then go towards a new love. Mm. It's a fucking king of wands. It's the King of Wands. So you got somebody in your life, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius type energy, who I feel like is going to try to reel you back in after you have like a tower moment with them. You could find out that they're talking to somebody else. Five of Cups, yeah. This person's going to regret this shit. Whatever they do to you or whatever they've done to you, they are going to regret it. Five of Wands, yeah. This person, there we have 555 five, five energy. That's not a good energy. This is not a good energy. You're, you're dealing with somebody who could be dealing with somebody else, or they feel like you're dealing with somebody else. Because I asked, how does this person feel about you? But there's definitely some type of energy here of deception. Two of Wands, yeah, you're going to have a choice to make. 
This person could also be trying to choose between you and somebody else and they're not telling you. Four of Cups. Yeah, you might notice, you might like feel this person trying to pull their energy away from you. So if you have somebody who's like trying to stop spending so much time with you or you just notice they've been withdrawing, it's because they're talking to somebody else. The Empress. This could be somebody that they were married to. Uh, somebody they had a child with. Three of Swords and the Sun in Reverse. Yeah, you're about to find something else out. Because the Sun in Reverse is the Moon. So, you're going to be heartbroken when you find this out. They've been trying to hide it from you with the Moon energy. The Emperor. Yeah, th this is somebody... <clears throat> this is either was is your spouse and you're going to find out they've been lying to you with a third party... Or this person's been cheating on you with somebody they used to be married to. We have every seat they've been lying to you. This person's playing mind games with you. Um, we have every five that has came out. We have every five now. So if you've been seeing five, 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 uh, just know that that this is person's energy. And I'm also telling you, the way these cards just came out are fucking crazy. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy again, the Death in Reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. There's somebody here, Sagittarius, that's trying to keep you fucking stuck. Like, they want to play mind games with you, they want to hold back from you, they're not telling you something and you know that there's something's not right. Like, they don't want to end things with you uh, because they feel like you'll move on. So, I feel like they could be, like, keeping you around and somebody else around at the same time. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups reverse. So, this person could be lying to you, telling you they're going to marry you, telling you they want a commitment with you. Uh, telling you they want the Ten of Cups, but they really don't. They just want to keep you stuck. Yeah, Knight of Wands energy. This person is somebody who wants to, like, go in and out. Like, they're not ready to let go of their player ways. Yeah, and then we have the Temperance in Reverse. So this person is keeping you in the Reverse. They're keeping you unbalanced. Page of Wands, yeah. I feel like this could be them trying to message you. Three of Cups, no. I see, that was my first thought. There's somebody else here. I feel like there's a third party here. Yeah, the Hierophant. I feel like Spirit could be revealing this to you. King of Pentacles. <laughs> There's somebody else coming in here who wants to commit to you that's not the King of Wands. Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. You have a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's coming in that actually wants to offer you um, a commitment. The King of Wands didn't want to give it to you. Somebody else will. But this King of Wands is trying to hold you back from that. Yeah. You're about to move on with this King of Pentacles. Whoever the King of Pentacles is, you're about to take a leap of faith towards them. You could have known them from childhood or something, or it could be somebody from your past. And with the Six of Swords, you're going to move into calmer waters. So, you have like a fire energy, this King of Wands energy that's playing mind games with you, bullshitting you, 
uh, not giving you what you want. I And I think they've been fucking lying to you and deceiving you. And you're going to find out. It's going to cause a tower moment. But do not fear. Do not worry. Because spirit has somebody else who's going to. If you're not going to end up in a commitment with this king of pentacles. It's just going to be somebody who's going to help you get out of this, this mind fucking that you're going through. And they're going to help carry you out of it. Like you're in the five of swords right now. Somebody's playing mind games with you. And. This King of Pentacles is going to come in and help get you out of it. Seven of Cups. Nine of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> There's also somebody on this King of Pentacles end that they could be leaving. Like they're looking at their options how to end a situation with the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you could actually be getting with somebody who's leaving somebody and you're leaving somebody and y'all just kind of click. Um, I know that sounds kind of, yeah, Virgo energy. I know that sounds kind of toxic, but um, the stars down here, this is destiny. This means that you were, this person was put in your life to help you. Even if you don't get in a relationship with them or whatever, they're helping you. You guys are going to help each other uh, get to get somewhere, get away from toxic people. Yeah, the chariot. This person's going to come to you. They're moving towards you. Yeah, eight of wands really quickly. The chariot and the eight of wands. So this Virgo energy is coming at you really fast here. Yeah, seven of wands. They're going to be very protective over you. Page of pentacles. Yeah, they're going to offer to like come see you, spend time with you, maybe go out to eat. Page of Swords. This person's very curious about what you got going on, too, by the way. Three of Wands and the Hanged Man. Yeah, this person's looking at things from a different perspective, but they're seeing you in their future. Justice. The, holy shit. This is your karmic justice. This person is like a little tornado. They're coming in to bring you good karma. So if you have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somewhere heavy in their chart, do not, especially a Virgo, uh, don't get rid of them. Because there's something here, this person, even if they don't stay in your life, they're helping you get through something or get out of a situation. But they're like a little tornado. They're going to come in and rearrange your life and balance you back out. You need this. And they, this person is very wise. They're being sent by spirit. So they see something you don't and they're going to help you like they know that you need help to get out of a situation and they're seeing something. They're going to help you. You may not understand all of this until later on. Yeah, and you're going to end up with wish fulfillment and somebody who gives you equal give and take. You're going to walk away from somebody who is lying to you. Um... Hold up. Spirit, who is this Seven of Swords? What is this Seven of Swords um, that Sagittarius needs to know about real quick before I get off of here? Damn it. I just put all my cards back. Freaking lopsided. I'm like, that means backwards. <laughs> I always just make shit. Make my own words up. Like, my friends say I have Nikki Boo's Book of Slang. Because if I forget what I'm trying to say, I'll just add a different word. <laughs> so, lopsided. Like... I was trying to say I put them back in there backwards. <laughs> or if I can't remember what a place is called, I'm like, you know, what you would call it over there. <laughs> People get so frustrated with me. <laughs> okay, what is the Seven of Swords? The shady ass energy. Ten of Pentacles. So somebody could be lying to you about a commitment look king of pentacles that king of pentacles ain't joking today three of wands this person's waiting to have like a family with you three of cups third party they want to reunite with you or something or there could be a third party two of cups yeah this is some type of a friend but they're not the liar they're not the liar they're helping you. Look, you can't make it up. Justice. 
pay attention to who you have a really good friend in your midst, Sagittarius. It, it can even be a family member. There's somebody here who's trying to help you see this deception. You see how they have the owl? Justice will be served. Anybody that's deceiving you, not treating you right, it's going to be exposed here. This King of Pentacles is going to help expose them. Yeah, a page of wands. It's going to be good news. Two of Pentacles. Juggling the lovers. Okay, so this person also loves you. It's not just a friend. They have somebody else around them. King of Cups. Wow, this person's in love with you. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, they're in love with you. You know what? They could even be lying to themselves about how much they love you. I don't know if I want to take all these. Yeah, a bunch came out. Oh, I caught it before it fell. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this person's going to offer you love. Four of Wands. Boy, they'll, they're going to come to your house, but they also would marry you. They're very guarded. Oh, ooh, I get it. The King of Wands is trying to protect you from, or the King of Pentacles, I mean, is trying to protect you from this King of Wands. There's a Knight of Wands, King of Wands, who stays around your house or something, stays around your energy. The King of Pentacles is trying to protect you from them. Page of Cups. I feel like this King of Wands could do shitty shit to you and then just come back and apologize and expect everything to be okay. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Chariot. So this King of Wands is moving towards you really quickly too. But they're stressed out about something. And I think it's because they lied about something. Queen of Wands. Boy, it's you. They stress you out. <laughs> They're worried about you. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. The hair font. They're worried about you be, being around the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands are both worried about each other. Well, this Knight of Swords is down here just ready to shake shit up. Four of Swords. Healing. So the King of Wands wants to heal things with you. The sun, you make them very happy. Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, but they're playing fucking mind games. This person could want to be single, and they're not telling you that. So if you are in a relationship with a King of Wands, just know that they could actually want to be single, but they're not telling you that. That could be what the lie is. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yep. This this King of Wands is not being honest with you. That they want to still be Knight of Wands. Which means they don't want to commit. They want to go do whatever the hell they want to. And they are not telling you this. They're playing mind games with you. Yeah, Five of Wands. And they're also um, pissed off. They could also try to start a fight with you. So that they can end things with you. Four pinnacles, but they're holding on to you. So they want to hold on to you, but still do whatever the hell they want. The universe, yeah. A, a cycle's closing out with this person. Queen of Cups. They could be talking to somebody, um, somebody at a distance or online. Yeah, and they feel stuck. This person feels stuck. Like they want to cause a tower moment and leave you out in the cold because they feel stuck. So if you're dealing with a King of Wands and Aries Leo Sagittarius and they've been acting really weird lately, it's because they want to move on and they're not fucking telling you. They're lying to you. And whoever this King of Pentacles is, 
they're going to come in and try to like help you get out of this or something or just be there for you when this happens. The King of Pentacles really loves you. Six of Pentacles. There's something about you give to this King of Wands that, that uh, they don't want to stop though. Like they don't really want to be with you. They want to move on from you. But they don't want like whatever they're getting from you to stop. Or I don't know. It's really weird. Maybe they're just not ready to give equal give and take. Page of Swords. Yeah, this person could be stalking you. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Star. Yeah, I feel like you're going to walk away from this King of Wands. You're going to go towards your destiny. Anybody who's not bringing you a commitment, you will move on to your destiny. So, just be careful. <clears throat> Spirit, what... How does the King of Pentacles feel about Sagittarius? How does the King of Pentacles feel about Sagittarius in their heart? True intentions and actions are about to take. How does the King of Pentacles feel about Sagittarius? I want you to pay close attention because I feel like this person is going to help you. But the the whoever else you're dealing with could try to keep this person out of your life. Do not do that. God knows what he's doing. He has people in your life for a reason. Two of Pentacles. So that, like I said, the King of Pentacles could be juggling. They could have somebody else. Two of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to make a decision. Nine of Cups. They view you as wish fulfillment. The Sun. You make them very happy. Queen of Wands. They're very attracted to you. The lovers. Oh my God. They're in love with you. And they're not telling you. They're holding this back. It's very hard for this person to hold back their feelings for you. Five of Cups. They're in regret and despair. This person, if they have you in a third party or they're with somebody else, they are not happy there. And they want to come offer you love. This person's in love with you. Yeah, they want to rush in and be this tornado and just shake shit up. If there's somebody else offering you love, they want that person out of the picture. Ten of Pentacles. They want to marry you. Look, there they are. King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to marry you. They're in love with you. I don't give a shit who they're with, what they're doing. They are in love with you. And they see their future with you and only you. I'm hearing that song, yeah, they're in love with you. They want to offer you this cup of love. I'm hearing that song, Nothing Compares. Nothing compares to you. Yeah. You know, look what's at the bottom. There is, <laughs> down here at the bottom, we have the tower, the high priestess, um, and the king of wands, and the knight of wands. So, there's going to be a tower. You instinctively know there's about to be a tower with this King of Wands. Something strange going on here. This King of Pentacles is stressed out. I'm worried. And if, they're, if you're with a new lover, like if you're with the King of Wands, this person worries about you. I don't, I just get this feeling you've known this King of Pentacles for a long time. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups reverse. There's somebody else in their life that they do not want to work on things with. They are over somebody. If there was somebody else, they want to be done with them. Knight of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't want to offer that person long term. So, they could be slow playing the other person because they don't want to put the work in with them. The Hermit and the Star. This is your destiny. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo, that this read is for you. You're destined to be with this person. They, You guys are in love with each other. 
And I think you've known it and they've known it and Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. There's about to be a truth spoken and there's about to be a burden dropped. When this truth comes out, a burden is going to be removed. Somebody's getting cut out. If there is a third party with the Six of Pentacles, it's getting cut out. Four of Wands, yeah. Commitment. Four of Cups, yeah. Somebody's going to get rejected. Two of Cups. Justice, yeah. <laughs> you and this King of Pentacles are going to be together. And it's going to be meant to be. Uh, Spirit is doing this, by the way. We have the Justice scales here. It's, it's due to you. This Karmic Justice is due to you. And I feel like whoever the King of Wands is, I feel like they should have committed to you. They should have married, be wanting to marry you. They should be working on building a life with you, but they're not. Because they want to continue to be the fucking Knight of Wands where they can go frolic and do whatever the fuck they want. And they think they can go do this and that. They don't give a shit about you. But what's going to happen, this Ten of Swords is going to happen. And they're going to have to watch you be with somebody else who actually does want to marry you. When they had the chance to do it. Uh, and you're going to find out some type of truth. There's a truth that's going to be exposed here. And that little tornado is just going to go off. You're going to hear the sirens. <laughs> I actually live where there are tornadoes. So if you hear that siren, you better hit the floor or wherever the hell you go. The basement. <laughs> That's how you go to the basement or the hallway and shit. I've survived through some of them. Oh, apparently I've survived. <laughs> I say some of the dumbest shit when I say, oh, I survived some of them. <laughs> like I didn't survive them all. <laughs> Mm. What's this King of Wands bullshit up to? Just feeling this King of Wands spirit. And then I gotta go. King of Wands, what do you say? What do you have to say, King of Wands? The Fool. Yeah, I feel like they're wanting to take a leap of faith elsewhere. They feel like you're holding them back or some shit. Fuck them. Queen of Cups, yeah. See, there's something here. I feel like there could be somebody else, either that or they feel like you love them. Queen of Swords and Judgment, yeah. There's something else here going on. This person, I think, could be looking at somebody else. There's somebody from their past who's trying to come back and offer them love, too, I think. We have the world in reverse. There's something about somebody at a distance or them talking to somebody else and not telling you what to like. The sun came out reversed again. There's something about the moon. They're not showing, they're not telling you something with that moon energy. Yeah, what they're not fucking telling you is that they want to be single. If you're dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius, they are not telling you that they want to be single. What a chicken shit. Yeah, because they want to be the fucking Knight of Wands. They want to continue to go play the field. Yeah, <laughs> let them go. That's going to be their karma. Look, justice just came out. Let them go. If they don't want to be with you, fuck them. I'm telling you. Like, you're going to end up with somebody else. If this per And this is karma. This is karma coming. So if this person didn't treat you right, they're, they're going to get hit really hard. Especially if they were lying to you and making you believe shit that ain't true. Yeah. <laughs> king of Swords. So you and this person could be mirroring each other with the King and Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Cups could be somebody else. This person's not being honest with you. They're being very cold towards you instead. The Empress. Nine of Swords. See, they're stressed out. They're worried about something here. I feel like this Empress is either you or somebody else they're talking to. Yeah, they, they're thinking of walking away. Yeah, they're thinking of walking away and then going and giving to somebody else. They're looking at other options. So this King of Wands is full of shit. Yeah, they're thinking of leaving you. 
They're not telling you this, though. Yeah, page of wands. They could be messaging other people. Like I said, this person's talking to others. Knight of Pentacles. So they could be slow playing you. Just like slowly giving to you, not really moving shit along. This person really overthinks a lot. They also feel like you get a lot of attention and that drives them crazy too. Four of Cups. Yeah, you're going to start noticing their energy. Like, you're going to start noticing them pull their time and energy away from you. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. This person's like, I feel, I really feel like there's a past energy around this individual. And they feel stuck. I don't know why. This person just, they don't feel like any, the relationship with you is going anywhere. And they feel like you're, they're stuck with you. And I don't know why they're not telling you. Yeah, and I feel like what they're lying to you about is that they want to move on. Like, because we have the Seven of Swords, the Temperance, and the Six of Swords. Like, they want to move on, I think. And they're not telling you. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, Burdened. And then we have the Knight of Wands. And then the Lovers. So, they're burdened by this connection. They're very guarded. And they're very burdened by this connection. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and the thought of having to give you a commitment really burdens them. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They don't want to. Yeah. Three of Wands. They're looking like they even think here in the near future things are going to end between you. So they don't have like any hope for this relationship. And then we have the Magician and the Two of Cups. Fine. Fuck them. Like I said, you are the magician and you have somebody else you're meant to be with. You're manifesting another lover. You're not You're not sitting around waiting for no bullshit. And then look, here goes the emperor with that knight of swords. Your little tornado, your person you're meant to be with is coming to be with you. Six of cups. Somebody from your past. It's somebody from your past. Yeah. And you're going to leave this devil energy in the past, too. Hair font, yeah. You're going to end up married to somebody else. <clears throat> the Five of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The person that didn't commit to you, which I feel like is the King of Wands, the person that's not really trying to, like, marry you or live with you or build a life with you, they're going to be in regret and despair, and part of their karma is going to watch you be with somebody else and get the Ten of Pentacles. Because they, they're not, they, they didn't give it to you. And so you're going to get it from somewhere else. Unfortunately for them. Like, I feel like they didn't see your value or they didn't see what you, like, were meant. But the other, whoever the other person is, the King of Pentacles, they see your worth. They see your value. I think they always have. Because I feel like you've known them. They see... Um, they see who you're going to end up with or who you're meant to be. You know, like they see your value. They always have, I feel like. So don't shun a king of pentacles. Spirit, who is Sagittarius going to end up with here in this situation? Who is Sagittarius going to end up with or meant to end up with? Make it quick because I got to go. <laughs> Just let one of the cards fly out. Who are they meant to end up with here? What's your advice? What's your advice for Sagittarius? Wow, that card flew out. Oh my god. The King of Wands. <laughs> Ooh, the Three of Swords. So it's not going to be the King of Wands. It's not going to be the King of Wands. I hate to tell you that. If you're dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius, it's not them. Yeah, look. We have the King of Cups. So the King of Wands is out. The King of Cups is here. The strength card. What is this? These cards are new. The Hierophant and the Seven of Wands. 
There's somebody who's going to fight for you. Eight of Wands. Things are going to move really quickly. Two of Pentacles. You trying to make a choice here. Or this King of Cups is. Three of Wands. Then they're, So we're looking at the future now. Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody makes a decision. Ace of Cups. New Love. Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. <laughs> the Empress. You are the Empress. So somebody's choosing you. The fool, they're taking a leap of faith towards you. So whoever this King of Cups is, unless the King of Cups and King of Wands are the same, but I don't think so. Ace of Swords. You're going to find out a truth that's going to set you free. You're going to get some type of truth here. Six of Wands, yeah, and you're going to have the victory and the success here. Somebody's getting left out in the cold, though. Age of Wands. Good news. This is going to be good news to you. Whoever this King of Cups is, I also feel like they're leaving somebody. Yeah, you're going to get news that the King of Cups, whoever they are, they are leaving somebody out in the cold. And they're, it's because they've chosen you. Yeah, they want to offer you a commitment, a brand new beginning here. And they're moving towards you really quickly. Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Tower. Somebody from their past. They're ending something with somebody from their past to come towards you. Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. And the Hanged Man. So they're making a decision. They've seen, they're seeing something from a different perspective. They want to put work into you. The Four of Cups no longer rejecting you. Wait a minute. This damn King of Wands could be the King of Cups. Like, you guys may just be going through some shit, but still end up together. Like, they changed their perspective. Six of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, like, they realized you're their soulmate or something. So, damn it. This King of Wands could be the King of Cups. Yeah, and then we have the Nine of Swords reversed. They quit worrying and stressing out. Page of Pentacles offering you a commitment, or a small one at least. Willing to fight for you. Yeah, they want to hold on to you. So this King of Wands actually is in love with you. Actually loves you. But damn it, they like to play bullshit mind games with you with the Five of Swords or the Page of Swords. So this King of Wands is actually in love with you, and they're not going to let you go off into the night. There's something, though, but there's something else about you being with somebody that, look, the Ten of Pentacles... Two of Cups, yeah. I don't feel like you're going to be with the King of Wands if they... Yeah, you're dropping a burden because you want to be with the Two of Cups, the person who really loves you. Yeah, there's somebody from the past. Or this person wants to come back after you end it. Look, the little tornado shows up to bring in judgment on this situation. Yeah, Four of Swords to help you heal. And then we have the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. There's somebody coming in to fight for you. That you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you. Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Six of Swords. Man, this, I, you know what? 
The Moon is Seven of Swords. I feel like you're going to move away from this person, even though there's love between the two of you. I just don't feel like that's who you're meant to be with. I feel like it was the King of Pentacles. Either that or the King of Pentacles is going to help you in some kind of way. But the Magician down here, the Queen of Wands. Whoever this King of Wands is, they're not just going to let you go quietly into the night. But there's some lies and deception that's about to come out. Okay, so that's what I have for you. I know it's kind of confusing, but... Yeah, Ace of Wands. There's somebody that does not want to let you go. But I feel like you're about to find out some shit. Yeah, we have the Emperor. Sometimes they may not want to tell you who you're meant to be with either. Because they're like, no, that's too much information. <laughs> What's at the bottom? Page of Cups. Four of Wands. The Lovers. The High Priestess. Three of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Magician. I was trying to see where that King of Pentacles went in here and who he, what energy he's surrounded by. Where the hell did he go? Did he already come out? See, I'm not used to these cards. He must have already came out. I don't even see him. Damn it. So he's in here somewhere. So you're going to end up with one of them. <laughs> But I feel like this King of Wands is going to end up breaking your heart. Spirit, I'm going to ask one last time and then i got to go, who is Sagittarius meant to end up with? Please just give them a sign that would resonate with them. Give them a really good sign. Let them know. Maybe they're indecisive. Maybe you guys are trying to figure this out. The moon. They don't want you to fucking know. They're saying you're not, you're not, it's not meant for you to know. Damn it. <laughs> Spirit, why are you on one today? The fool. Yeah, they're telling me to stop being a fool. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Five of swords and knight of swords. Okay. All they're telling me, Sagittarius, something is about to happen. I don't know exactly what. Something hidden is going to be exposed. Somebody who's playing, like, bullshit Five of Swords mind games with you, um, they're about to be exposed because this tornado is about to expose this energy, which that tornado was attached to the King of Pentacles. So there's something here about you figuring something out. Yeah, look, the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the one playing mind games. So if you're confused about things that are going on, the King of Wands is the one hiding something. Let me have the Queen of Cups. Three of Cups. I'm telling you, this, this King of Wands is hiding a third party. I really, yeah. They're hiding a lover from you. Four of Swords. Two of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they could try to say it's just a friend or something. Just be careful. Who You're about to figure something out with that moon. There's something hidden with this King of Wands. This King of Wands could even try to tell you that they just want to be friends or something. The Emperor. <clears throat> I feel like it has something to do with somebody they were married to in the past that they're not letting go of. There's just something they're not telling you. Yeah, look, Ace of Swords. You're going to figure this out. You're going to get clarity. You're going to get clarity on this situation. We have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. Somebody from the past is who I feel like you may end up with. You're going to figure something out. Yeah, Three of Swords. I'm telling you, unfortunately, Sagittarius, whoever the fuck this King of Wands is in your life, you better get ready. Prepare your heart. Prepare your heart is all I got to say because you're about to go through some heartbreak because somebody is deceiving you, but that's okay because, look, Justice just stepped in. This is Spirit Guides. Um, One of these cards flipped over. Spirit got, Spirit is showing you something. There's something about a knight of pentacles. You're about to get justice in this situation. 
like whoever's trying to deceive you and shit. Yeah, look, you're going to get some type of word, like messages in here. You're going to get justice for this. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Somebody else is going to come in and want to put in work with you. But you're going to find something out, unfortunately. Judgment, yeah. Spirit is going to put judgment on this person if they're doing you dirty. Because you are the Empress. And we have the Six of Pentacles and the Strength card. You're going to get equal give and take. Ace of Wands, a brand new passionate beginning. Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody else is going to come in here. You're going to want to give you equal give and take. You're going to move out of that Five of Swords being mind-fucked energy into a peaceful energy. Okay, that's all I can do for now. Just be prepared. I feel like there's somebody that's not telling you something. It's that King of Wands energy. They're not telling you something. Okay, so have a good one, Sagittarius. Love you guys.